Blind Melon fans, YouTubers, guitar players, here's St. Andrew's Fall for you. Two guitars. First guitar I'll do is the rhythm guitar. Uh, you make this chord here, not sure what it's called, on your E string, 5th fret, G string, 6th fret, B string, 7th fret. And then you're going to lift up your index finger and put down your pinky finger the way you're supposed to. Then you slide down to an A. Uh, lift up your ring finger and then put it down. That's basically the, uh, the verses uh, and the intro too. Your intro, you'll do each one once. Then you'll throw an F in there. Uh, you're going to hammer on with your index finger. Slide up to an A. That's your intro. Uh, for your pre-chorus, you're going to go up to your F again. Up to an A. on the corner staring straight into the eyes of Jesus Christ and I just strum an A while the the um, lead guitar is doing something a little funky down here that's basically your whole song um, the end so the end part of it uh, the next time they go just going from A to G sharp to G to F sharp to F and keep on doing that and then they go a little crazy and when he hit ends, when the uh, bass and the and the bass uh, bass drum and the hi hat go, he starts on a B minor, goes to a G, B minor, G, and then he starts singing. And when he starts singing, it's just B B minor, sorry, G and A, G A G A G B minor. For lead guitar, um, we start up here on the 10th fret of the A string, hammer on to the 12th, and then on the D string go down to the 11th, and then just push up onto the 12th and back to the 11th. So it sounds like this. And then when the rhythm goes down to the A, you're up here, you're on the E note, which is the 7th fret of the A string. You're hammering on, no you're not hammering on yet. First one you go down to a B and then to an A. The second time go back to the A except hammer on this time onto an F sharp. Okay, so you're, you're ended on the A while he's playing A. The second time you're going to go back to this, right? So you hammer on to the uh, you hammer on to the E, F sharp, down to the A, back to the F sharp with your ring finger, slide up to the 10th fret with your ring finger, then slide up to the 12th fret with your ring finger, and then your hand, the position is back into what you need for your, uh, for what you're doing on the D. So, looks like this, sounds like this. Doesn't sound like that, doesn't look like that. It sounds and looks like this. <laughs> okay, one more time. Um, then when they go down to the F, you're gonna go down to the F. Uh, from your your F sharp here okay you're gonna go down to an F bar chord an F5 with no uh, no index finger so it's like I don't know what, what chord it is so it looks like this okay okay so you're 
you're going to strum on the third strum you put, your, you put your index finger down make an F sharp make a, an F chord and then you're going to pick you're going to do this little slide with your ring finger you're going to slide up to an A or sorry from the C to a D to a C to a B and then to an F up with your index finger or you can do it whatever way you want I'll just tell you what notes to do so I'm down here on my ring finger okay then you're gonna do an A5 okay now I just plucked the A string and the D string and then you're gonna slide up with your index finger up to an F sharp note okay so and that and do it really quick and stop don't like I just sustain that note don't okay it's really quick okay so just slide up with that then you're gonna make a I guess it's an some type of an A chord think of your A your A bar chord like this think of the note that your pinky is on that your ring finger is on and that the bottom part of your index finger is on on the B string and you're gonna make that note after you slide up your, your index finger is gonna be on the B string fifth fret your ring finger is gonna be on the G string sixth fret and your ring finger is gonna be on the D string seventh fret okay now that's just some type of an A probably so you're gonna strum it strum it pluck the B string twice hammer on to the seventh fret of the B string and then down to an A note and it sounds like this okay I still can't get that hammer on it's still hard for me but anyway that's how he does it so I'll do it nice and slow note there okay and then back to the F no index index second time it goes to a G then when he does uh, stand and strength the eyes of Jesus Christ I don't know what he does here but he does it down on the A, A he um, plucks the B fifth fret hammers on to the seventh goes down to the E string fifth fret there's something a little funky that I can't do but he ends it with bending the seventh fret of the E string okay he does he takes the B and he, and he bends it and comes really back nice. and then right back to it sorry And then uh, you, you know uh, you can figure out how to how to do some um, lead guitar to this. I haven't yet. 